And blaming everything on austerity isn't quite fair. What if there's something else going on? What if the financial crisis was simply the moment we realised there was a deeper problem in the economy? Quite simply, we're not productive enough. We're fundamentally building products that will go to milking cows, to packaging crisps, to cutting metal, to putting a conformal coating onto a mobile phone to make it waterproof. Tony Haig runs a high-tech manufacturing firm in the Midlands. As with so many others, he still bears the scars from a decade ago. It was an incredibly fraught period. Uh, never before, certainly in our industry, had we seen such a, you know, a, a global economic meltdown. It wasn't just a recession in one industry, it was far more than that. I mean, to put it into context, in the space of four weeks, we saw a 70% reduction in orders from our customers. Four so, weeks? In four weeks, 70% reduction. A lot of manufacturing companies that were, you know, really good manufacturing businesses ten years ago, and now they're the site of a supermarket, a petrol station or a housing estate because they didn't do the right things, they did all the wrong things, they didn't invest and ultimately they couldn't compete and they closed. In other words, was the crisis just another excuse for businesses not to invest in their future? It's a concern for UK manufacturing in general because you know, we now, all of us work in a global economy and if they're not investing in automation, not doing the right things, will you be there in five years?